Hi everyone, I'm Cord, and I'm the owner of the Zints Collection and the Unzinted Collection. And first of all, I wanted to bring you up to one of my favorite spots here in my hometown that I've been coming to since I was a little kid. So what I'd love to do is share a little bit about who I am, uh, how I got here, and a little bit about our company. So I grew up here in Boulder, Colorado, and Boulder's known to be this epicenter for healthy living, alternative um, healing, and I grew up with all of that. My parents introduced me at a really early age, so I grew up with organics and acupuncture and Chinese medicine, essential oils, flower essences, Reiki, rolfing, massage, all of it. And um, around age 12, I learned something called Reiki with my mom. And for any of you that don't know what Reiki is, uh, the best way to think about it is acupuncture without needles. And I learned Reiki and it changed my life. And I absolutely loved it. And I would Reiki my mom, I'd Reiki my dad, I'd Reiki my friends, my brother, my sister, uh, my pets, even plants. <laughs> and at an early age, I decided I wanted to be a therapist when I grew up. And that's what I did. I grew up, I became a therapist. I had a focus on something called cranial sacral, which is a really powerful healing modality and really found my calling. I thought I was going to be doing that the rest of my life and was doing that in spas and wellness centers. Also had my own private practice, but um, life had a really different plan for me. And I got involved in a life-changing car accident that landed me in the hospital for the next year and a half with very serious brain injury and also physical injury. And after about a year and a half in the hospital, the doctors came to me and they came to my parents who were taking care of me. And they said, you know what? This is where he's at. And we needed to get used to it and just accept it that I wasn't going to get better. And I just wasn't in a good place at all. You know, I wasn't able to walk in a straight line. I wasn't able to lift um, a cup of water. I had chronic pain that never, ever left and really had a hard time retrieving words and speaking. And uh, it just wasn't a place where I wanted to live the rest of my life. They also said that I wasn't supposed to be able to hold a job. Uh, I was supposed to have a lot of assistance in my life. So I have these incredible, brilliant angel parents that thankfully did not believe the doctors. And they told me I wasn't allowed to believe the doctors. And we were lucky enough to hear about a doctor over in India that was treating the untreatable, you know, really having incredible success on people that Western medicine had given up on. So they packed my bags and they moved me to India. And from a plane to a train, to a bus, to a rickshaw. <laughs> I found myself in this beautiful, beautiful little village called Dharamsala that's tucked up in the Himalayas. And Dharamsala is really known for its Tibetan doctors and Tibetan clinics. So I arrived there and um, late at night and the next morning I woke up and I found myself in the Tibetan clinic for my appointment. And I remember clear as day. Um, the Tibetan doctor coming in. He was this little old man with sparkly eyes and a big smile. And he came in with his assistant because he didn't speak English. And um, they told me to stick out my tongue. And he looked at my tongue, looked really closely at my tongue. And then he told me to open my eyes wide and looked at my eyes. And they took my pulse, sat there for a few minutes, looked at me again and smiled, said a few sentences to his assistant and walked out. And I remember him walking out and the air leaving the room. <laughs> you know, I had just come from all the way across the world to meet him. And it was just a few minutes. And I turned to his assistant and I said, you know, what did he say? And his assistant looked at me and he said, um, he said that the wind got knocked out of your brain and that you're going to be okay, that you're going to heal. And then he left. And he left the room and I remember tears rolling down my cheeks and I remember crying because it was the first time that any doctor had told me that I was going to be okay and I believed it and it was really at that moment where my healing started. Um, they told me to come back for in about a week and a half for Tibetan medicine so I did that and I came back for these big bags of Tibetan medicine, which are essential oils and herbs and gems. They crush up into this paste and they create these little um, medicine balls that you chew three times a day that taste absolutely 
terrible. So first of all, <laughs> I was determined to get better, but I was also very determined to not take that the rest of my life. And um, then I went down to, move down to a city called Varanasi. And Varanasi's in India on the Ganges, and it's this ancient, ancient city, absolutely beautiful. And there was an incredible doctor there that is a Western doctor, a naturopath doctor, but also a yogi. And he created a very specific program for me of yoga to heal my body, and then also um, pranayama and meditation to heal my brain. So I did that. I did that from early in the morning till late at night, sometimes four in the morning till 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night. And slowly, slowly, I started to heal. And it was really out of that place of healing where the idea um, of my company was born. I just wanted to create healing formulas that made people smile, that made people feel good. And you know, I felt so lucky that I had a second chance and I wanted to be a part of other people's second chances. So I share all this, uh, not only so you know a little bit about who I am and, and how I started my company, but I believe one of the reasons I got a second chance and that I'm here is to remind people and to remind you that miracles happen and that healing the impossible is possible. You know, all of us have been told before that we're not gonna get better, and we've told ourselves that we're not gonna get better a million times. And I'm just here to gently remind you that it's not true. And if one person can heal, then others can heal. And that's something that I believe in deeply, and it's something that we stand for as a company.